I want to do the the crappy drink story. This is stuff that's just really bad for your health. I was going to skip over this. Then Fester sent it to me also last night. I'm like, you know what? You know, if we can uh, maybe break through to like two or three people and they're guzzling these damn drinks thinking, oh, there's no harm here. Oh, it's an energy drink. It's got to be good for me. Uh, so I figured, hey, you know what, we'll go through the list. All right, so the first couple of them, admittedly, I thought were pretty obvious. But then it starts getting into it. I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. all right, I see this. Yeah, so I, again, I was going to pass over on this because I, I saw it while I was doing prep. And then Fester saw it, obviously sent it to me. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll, I'll humor you. So these are the worst drinks for your nutrition and your health. And yeah, there are a lot of obvious things on here. So energy drinks and pre-workout drinks. These are not good for you. All right, listen, the, the whole energy drink uh, sector, that, that thing, that, I mean, we're talking about billions and billions of dollars. If you want to enjoy an energy drink now and then, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But if you're some of these people that are drinking five, six of these a day, what the hell's the matter with you? I mean, I've known people that were chugging rock stars like it was just, you know, water out of a cooler at the office. And you, you, Those are big, too. I mean, it's, <laughs> but listen, it's any of those drinks, like rock star all and, huge. and monster. Monster, monster ex- exactly. I mean, the sugar, the caffeine, I mean, those things will jack you up. Bang. You know, is there one called yeah. Bang yeah. Energy Drink? Bang your head against <sighs> the desk. You know what's good for you? Water. Yeah, that, Clean exactly. Water. Clean water. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's all I really drink. I drink water. I Don't drink, drink it out of the toilet. I drink dirty water. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you I drink pond water. I drink puddle water. Thank you. Right out of the street. Thank you know, you, really. you know what's good for you? Yeah. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, keep it simple. It, it, right. Seriously. But... If you wanna if you wanna shake like a whirlpool on spin cycle, <laughs> you give me a couple of monsters and a pack of smokes and, yeah. and now we're talking. <laughs> all now, I now drink I a- all I drink is water. I drink either still water or sparkling water. I will add some like lemon or lime juice. I'll do a couple of squirts to give it just a little hint. Look, I have no problem drinking it plain and I do. But you know, probably half the time I just I buy those you know what I buy? Uh, I buy those uh, Cecilia, you know, you see them in the produce section of the supermarket? Uh, this, the pre, this is the squeezed uh, lemon and lemon word, juice. Use your words. <laughs> use your right, words, Fester. You. Use right. your words. I forgot. Yeah, it's the <laughs> lime or the lemon in the plastic green and yellow container. They sell them in the produce section, and I like those. So I'll put a couple of squirts in there. It's like zero calories, adds a little hint of flavor. You know, they have that brand called Hint. I add my own Hint. For a lot less. So, so that's what I do. But I don't drink uh, a lot of juices. I don't. I, I drink no soft drinks. I, we've talked about this in the past. I have maybe one or two soft drinks a year. I mean a year. And a lot of times it's like an L cap. I'm getting a big old cheeseburger, and sometimes I'll indulge. Ser- seriously, once a year, I'll get one of their IBC cream sodas or root beers out of the bottle. Ooh. I don't think I've had a soft drink in, I don't know, a decade. I accept, if I am if I have a tummy ache and I have ginger ale, that's it. Mm, ginger okay. ale is good for your Beer. stomach if you're sick. With a splash of scotch. <laughs> really <laughs> That'll get you right. a little bit. Yeah, so energy drinks, yeah, not good for you. The side effects that you might get from the excess uh, stimulants that are found in these, like, you know, the, the caffeine will jack you up. So that's pretty obvious. You know, energy drinks and these pre-workout drinks, they're not good for your health, according to nutritionalists. Then on the list, sweet alcoholic cocktails. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, those are the only kind I like. Uh, just give me a glass of good bourbon or scotch or whiskey, just neat. I don't even want ice in that thing. Just give it to me neat. Give me a fuzzy navel. I'll take that. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're probably talking about things like margaritas. They, when you Google the number of calories on those, it's like insane. It's like your caloric intake for the day in one big giant margarita. One of the nutritionalists that's commenting in the story said the combination of alcohol and the fructose syrup. Sometimes found in these cocktails, not good for your liver. Of course, all the your liquids are processed, you know, uh, through your liver. Uh this compromises the liver's ability to filter out toxins and hampers its conversion of fructose to glucose. So sweet alcoholic cocktails. Then, of course, on the list, it's just obvious. Traditional sodas. Soda's bad for your health due to all the added sugar. 
Again, yeah, listen to this. Yeah, yeah. L- listen to this quote. I this is the nutritionist. I recommend instead opting for seltzer or sparkling water, adding a squeeze of lime, lemon, or orange juice for flavor. Did you write this? Oh, uh, I, I could have. I've been doing that since I was born. Essentially, it's MJ's article. <laughs> no, I did not you write this. You found it faster. Then, you <laughs> fell for it. We're getting then, all these clicks. I, I got MJ's clickbait. <laughs> next on the list, iced tea. All right. So they have to be talking about sweet tea, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you drink just regular tea, especially like green tea and, and black tea, there are certain teas that are better for you than- I think than, the black tea is bad for you. Than other Really? The teas. black tea is bad for you? Tell that to Uncle Cy from that one show with the beards. You remember he always has a tea? What the hell are you talking about? Let's talk about a show I've never <laughs> heard of, exactly. much less seen. What is, Uncle no, Cy from the beards. No one knows what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> What's the name of those guys? Oh, Duck Dynasty. Okay, now we are, now I, yeah. That's not the name of the show. <laughs> the, the, beards. the beards. By the way, I, the beards. It's Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Uncle Cy always has a cup of black tea. That's I right. watched... 10 minutes of one episode. Oh, of, it's the best. It is the worst. What? <laughs> it is the worst crap. No, they get in such hijinks. It is the worst <laughs> crap. And it's all and real. It is, it is the most scripted, no. stilted stuff. You can. They're trying to be spontaneous, but you can hear them reading their lines like this. It is the worst crap. That's just how they talk. I, no, it's not. They're from Louisiana. That might be how no, they talk. No, it was so scripted and stilted. You can tell just before the camera rolled. The director said, okay, say this. Happy, happy, it, happy. It was awful. That Duck Dynasty is so some real. of the... It, it is not. It's, it's some the, of the realest out there. That's some of the worst <laughs> television crap I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, so iced tea. Yeah. For sweetened iced tea, and especially, you know, the commercially prepared iced teas, you know, the iced teas that come in the, the glass bottles or whatever. Like the Arizona iced teas and uh, stuff like that. Oh, man, those things are just, you might as well just take a five-pound bag of sugar and just use minimal water and dissolve the sugar in the water and just put those back. But, like, Michelle loves sweet tea. Now, she doesn't make it at the house, but if we go to, like, a barbecue joint or something, you have to get the she tea. gets the sweet tea. And, like, I'll take a sip, and it's like, oh, my God, I feel like I've been waterboarded with a bag of Domino <laughs> sugar. Yeah, no, I I'm hate serious. iced tea. But, you know, I've been getting into this regular tea, regular brewed tea, unsweetened, and then put a squeeze of lemon in that. And you get mm. a cold glass of that. To me, that's pretty damn refreshing, I'm telling you. I did send you, I didn't send you this story. Obviously, this was Fester, but I did send you a green tea story. Ooh. When the hell did you send that? Last night. I right. sent you an iced tea story. Apparently, he just re-signed with that right. show. Let me yeah. just let me just run through the rest of this list because it's 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 pretty obvious. So, drink sweetened with agave nectar. You know, agave that's mm-hmm. uh, one of the components in the tequila, right? Yes. Right. All right. Also, uh, juice cocktails, blended uh, juices, just a, a ton of. Yeah. Extra sugars. And, Who drinks juice well, just straight out of the bottle? Like, I never drink juice if it's just a cup of but, orange juice. I'll mix water uh, into it. L- let me point something out. What they're talking about here with juice cocktails, it's like maybe you buy like a cranberry juice and it says cranberry juice cocktail, and it's like 6% cranberry juice, and then the rest of it is just sugar water. Yeah. Mm. You know? They, they have a like a carton of Minute Maid in their yeah. refrigerator. It's like 5% juice. Yeah, exactly. Always look at the side of these juices. What per, And it's right above the nutrition thing, typically. What percentage real juice? But even real juice, like a glass of like eight ounces of orange juice, I think has more sugar and calories than a glass of Coke, actually. How about but, juicy juice? <laughs> my favorite tank. drink. Juicy juice? <laughs> you can't say it. <laughs> Without I, seeming happy, I, juicy juice. I then uh, artificially sweetened drinks. Uh, well, obviously, uh, the drinks made with like stevia or monk fruit sweetened drinks. Oh, I love monk fruit juice. Uh, they're uh, it's they're, a sweetener. It's not a juice. Now, hang on oh. a minute. <laughs> stevia or monk fruit sweetened drinks are great sugar alternatives that are also gut friendly. So that is an alternative to some of the artificially sweetened drinks. Uh, and then frappuccinos. Oh. Frappuccinos and then frozen lattes are just uh, just tons of oh, added sugar, yeah. and those are not good for you. I mean, there's just tons of obvious crap on here. So there you go. Uh, the drink uh, segment here took up the morons in the news. So since I said I was going to do that at 6.20, I didn't get around to it, I pushed it to 6.40, and boom, there we go. 